I'm Chris from American Special Ammo. We're doing a follow-up video on my first Econocan video. We shot with Tom Cole of Caddis Gun Works. He's the one that actually manufactures the Econocan. We had a lot of questions we're going to answer after the video. Um, so here it is. Uh, check it out. And then if you have any questions afterwards, feel free to leave a comment. We've got 10 rounds, 22, hypersonic. They're not subsonic rounds. They're hypersonic. So you hear a crack in the distance. Load them into the Walther P22. See them going in, into the chamber. Empty. Alright, we're going to shoot five rounds through the can, then we're going to spin it off and shoot five rounds so you can hear the difference. That's a huge difference. I hope you guys can hear it on the camera. Alright, I'm going to do the same test with my $450 suppressor to compare it to the Econo can. I'm going to shoot five rounds, I'm going to spin it off, however I'm not going to drop this one on the ground because it costs $450, and I'm going to shoot five unsuppressed. Safety's a bitch. Hi, a lot of people are saying you can't aim with the Okano can. So we're going to aim at a 10 inch gong at 20 meters. I'm going to see how many hits I can get. Uh, you're going to use instinctive shooting to shoot like this. You're going to ignore your sights, picture where the target is, and use your instincts to hit the target. Not bad, I hit 9 out of 10 uh, with my sights completely blocked using instinctive shooting. Just takes practice and uh, you can get good at it. Alright, we've got live 22 rounds and a Walther P22 with an oil filter suppressor. Live rounds, not airsoft. See if I can hit those uh, bowling pins over there. All right, we're here with uh, Chris Reed from ASA today. He's going to answer some questions about the Econo can and suppressors in general, just to clear up some uh, misgivings people have had in the comments. So let's just get to it. Uh, the first comment we're getting uh, quite often is, are suppressors legal? Yeah, suppressors are legal in most states. Uh, check with your local uh, uh, local law enforcement or local class 3 dealer. They'll be able to tell you if they're legal in your state. But for, for the most part, uh, about, I believe it's about 38 states they're legal in, you can legally purchase them. All right, uh, if you do want to get one, how do you go about purchasing a suppressor? First, you have to figure out which can you want. You do some research on the internet, uh, look at the different brands. Um, going to find a local class 3 dealer. Uh, you're going to tell them what you want. They're going to order it for you and bring it in. You're going to file a Form 1 with the ATF, which includes paying a $200 tax stamp, which is basically your right to be able to own. It, it's almost like a certificate. You have to carry it around with you when you have your can to prove that you legally purchased it. Um, after about six months, which is the typical transfer time, uh, your FFL will call you up, say it was approved, and give you your tax stamp and your suppressor. Moving on to some questions about the Econo cans themselves. So what calibers can you use the Econo can? We've tested it up to, we've used a 30 out 6, we've used an 8 millimeter, 223, 308, 22, 9 millimeter, 45. If you're going to shoot a larger caliber through it, I recommend before you shoot a 22 through it to put the hole through. That's, that's how you put your initial hole through. Then shoot your 45 and 9 millimeter. Um, now, depending on the round, is how many rounds you're going to be able to use the can for. At 22, you're going to be able to get thousands of rounds through before you have to replace the can. And if you're using a 30 out 6, you may get 10 rounds before you're going to need to replace. You'll see stress fractures on it. When you see that, you're going to need to stop and uh, have your can replaced. All right, uh, just going right off that, uh, is it legal for a person to replace the filter themselves? No, you cannot. You cannot legally replace the filter yourself. 
the, when we send them out to you, or Tom from Caddis Gun Works send them out to you, uh, your filter is numbered to your adapter and registered with the ATF as a suppressor as one unit. Uh, you as a civilian cannot in any shape or form own an extra piece or part to a suppressor, even a baffle, an end cap, uh, anything at all. Each individual piece counts as a suppressor. Um, you'll need to send it back to us or Tom at Caddis Gun Works and we charge $25 that includes shipping to replace your filter and ship it back to you. Alright, uh, in total how much will the Econo can cost you? Uh, the adapter costs $75 plus sales tax and after that you're going to pay your $200 tax stamp to the government so you're in it for about $300. Alright, well I think that's about it. Um, thanks for clearing that up. Alright, thanks guys.